Hey, what's up guys? This is Chris at windsound.com. In this video, I'm gonna show you how to use the sub bass plugin within Logic Studio to boost those low frequencies within your mix. And remember, you can always get a hold of me with any questions, comments, or ideas at chris at windsound.com. Inserts, down to specialize, over to sub bass, select that. All right, now here's your plugin right here. Here's the sub bass plugin. I put it on a kick track. I'm gonna show you what it sounds. What this kick track sounds completely dry without the plugin. Let's go. All right. Now with just a little bit of tweaking that I did within the plugin, I'm gonna show you what the, the sound is that I got. As you can tell, it's pretty easy to get that sound that you're looking for. All right. Before I get into the little knobs in the plugin, I'm going to show you some of the default settings. As always, just like any other plugin, there's some really great default settings, such as bass booster. It all it all really depends on what you're looking for, such as this one below the kick. And there's a handful of other settings there, too. So you can see. All right. And now, basically you have your dry and wet outputs. The wet is gonna be how much of this plugin do you want in your the final mix, whereas the dry input is how much of the final, I mean how much of the dry signal, the original recorded sound, do you want in the final mix. So if I put the wet all the way up to 100, and put the dry all the way down to zero. The only thing that's gonna be coming through is gonna be the plugin, the effect. All right, whereas if I go the other way around, 100 down to zero, it's only gonna be the original signal. This plugin is not gonna have any effect at all. The, the effect might as well just be bypass. Okay, so I'm gonna bring that back. Uh, bring this down a bit okay and now you got your uh, high frequency and your low frequencies okay so remember if you want to be putting that sub bass sound on your mix you're gonna be wanting to work be working with frequencies below 90 Hertz because that's where the real bass really lives it lives Anywhere between 20 hertz to uh, 90 hertz, or at least that's what you can, your body can actually physically hear. So worry anywhere between 40 and 50 hertz to 90 hertz, Any, anywhere below 90 hertz and you'll be fine. So you can decide where you want the high frequency to be centered. Let's put that at 75 hertz. Same thing with the low frequencies. Let's leave that Let's put that at 55 hertz. Now your bandwidth is basically how, what's the uh, frequency range? What's the uh, range that you want each one to cover basically? Like, let's see, put it at just one octave. So you can see that's what that's at. Same thing with this bandwidth up here, but this is only effect but this is affecting the high frequencies. Which is set at 75, as opposed to the low being centered at 54 right now. And then you got the ratio they can set per each frequency. Always have the ratio. I like to leave it around kind of two area. And then how much do you want these frequencies to be met, put in the final mix anywhere from zero to a hundred percent as always you can always get in touch with chris at wingsound.com and make sure to check out more of his videos including these titles featuring logic now available on demand at wingsound.com